Uh, now, Ray, the Wall Street Journal reported that Bridgewater is raising money for a new China fund. What is the latest on this, and, and what is so appealing about China to you? I mean, many are worried about rising debt levels, slowing economic growth. What's your take? I've been going to China since 1984, long before they had any money, um, and I've been enjoying that. And over those periods of time, I've uh, built these wonderful relationships, and I've seen them from... Um, in 1989, there was a group uh, in China of, of uh, seven people who, when they didn't have a financial system, uh, were working out of a, 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 a dingy hotel room, and that was for them to build the financial system. And I've had a pleasure of all through that time to develop wonderful relationships um, that, with time, um, helped to build help them think through their, um, uh, you know, their institutions. And so the relationship has been fantastic. So naturally, what we want to do uh, is to continue to grow with uh, them as they're growing in their financial markets. And the way they've opened up their financial markets and created um, capital market innovation over the last three years, really, I mean, it's been incredibly fast-paced, means that they're, they have liquid markets which have depth um, and, um, you know, accessibility. So, of course, we're going to want to be part of that. China's debt levels, do, is that a worry for you as you explore deeper into China? China, China has uh, a much l lower level of debt, but they, have a ch debt, they definitely have a debt issue. But the debt is denominated in their own currency. And what I found is that their economic policy makers are, are very, very um, uh, smart and sensible people. They've been, uh, the world has been talking about the debt problem for a long time, and we were one of the first to bring up the fact that there is a, a debt problem. But um, the, and when a debt is denominated in one's own currency, it's manageable the usual ways. You know, in other words, you might extend the maturity of the debt. You might alter whose balance sheet it's on. You might um, have the interest rate uh, changed. You go through certain processes that we've been through to be able to manage that debt. And, and there's, there, they've done an excellent job. I'm most importantly um, interested in the capabilities of the people who did it. We went through our particular debt problems. Every country does it. I'm, uh, I'm genuinely excited about the quality of, of the, the leadership and in terms of practicality. They can get st stuff done, and right. um, their reforms are a move toward, you know, sensible, mo uh, much more market-driven um, economics, but with uh, guns. So uh, I, I see the innov innovation. I'm very excited about China. But anyway, uh, it's like your question would be a little bit like asking me, would you be, want to leave the United States? Because the United States has a debt problem. I was here in the United States. I love the markets. We did well in 2008. In our business, the key question is whether you make the de decisions correctly. Not There's not such thing as a bull market or a bear market. 2008, uh, because we anticipated the crisis, we right. did well. In any country, uh, it's the same set of rules. So China is no different than us investing in any other country that has um, li uh, liquidity and the right kind of markets. Whether they go up or down, we'll, you know, we'll be there. There's no good reason not to be in China. And there's a special appeal because um, you know, I know it well and I've been there for a long time.